For this video tutorial, we will be considering the quadriceps tendon and the attachment onto the patella, and we'll also be looking at the suprapatellar recess and some of the associated structures, as well as the quadriceps muscles. Okay, so we will start our ultrasound evaluation by starting at a reference point, so a nice reference point here is on top of the patella and we get this bright white hyperechoic line towards the top of the screen when we sat in on the patella and if we move more proximally here we're going to see we're going to come to the insertion of the quadriceps tendon onto the patella so we can see the different bundles and the different fascicles of the quadriceps tendon as it inserts. So here we're looking in the transverse plane. So we're looking across the uh, quadriceps tendon. I'm going to rotate my probe so that now I'm looking in the longitudinal plane. So here's the insertion of the quadriceps onto the patella. Okay, and as I will scan across, again, really, really important to interrogate these attachment points looking for pathology. I'm going to now start to move more proximally and I'm going to angle my probe to reduce artifacts, to reduce in an isotropy. We note that we have the knee flexed for this examination so that we have a little bit of tension in the quadriceps tendon and associated structures and again reducing artifact, reducing an isotropy. Now here we can see very nicely the superficial middle and inferior bundles of the quadriceps tendon as they come in to insert on the patella. Okay, and I'm going to start to follow more proximally. We will see the suprapatellar bursa and we're going to be moving through the suprapatellar recess uh, and we continue to angle our probe reduce artifact, reduce anisotropy. So here we're looking in the longitudinal plane at the quadriceps tendon. I'm now going to rotate my probe so we can now look at the quadriceps tendon as well as the quadriceps muscles in a transverse plane. So here we have, just to orientate again, we have the tendon, the quadriceps tendon, and we have the distal portion of the um, vastus intermedialis beneath. If I move my probe medially, here we have vastus medialis oblique. And if I move my probe laterally, here we have vastus lateralis. Okay, so I come back to the middle and I'm actually going to change my image. So now I have a convex image. This allows me to appreciate a wider field of view as I'm scanning. And I'm going to move slightly more proximally. And of interest here, we will see the very first part of the muscle of the rectum. Okay, so this is actually the rectus femoris musculotendinous junction. So you can see here, this is tendon. If I move proximally, we see the final muscle fibers in transverse plane. So this is muscle, tendon, muscle. So this is the musculotendinous junction of the distal aspect of our rectum with VMO medially, vastus lateralis laterally, and intermedialis beneath. So at this point, we can see all four of the quadriceps muscles in transverse plane, all in the same image. This is our evaluation for the quadriceps tendon um, and the distal aspect of the quadriceps muscles.